All right, guys, so my continuation of the absolute worst takes when it comes to uh, this Ukraine-Russia situation that's going on in Europe, uh, this time we have John Kerry, right? Somebody who actually works in the government saying something that I found to be absolutely ridiculous, right? And, and part of the reason why we're currently in the situation that we're in, right? Because we obviously have idiots running this country, right? Who have their priorities more on wokeness, right? And uh, progressive politics than they do actually governing, right? Or showing any signs of competency, okay? And uh, this right here, right? From John Kerry is a prime example of that. As uh, he got roasted on social media for hoping that Putin will focus on climate change amid the Ukraine invasion. Wow. <laughs> right this man john Kerry says hey putin why are you invading a country right why are you starting a war why are you killing folks okay uh i hope that you focus on those emissions right i hope that you think about all the emissions that you're letting out in the atmosphere okay while you're conducting these operations okay it says the guy who literally takes a private jet everywhere he goes is probably one of the leading people that uh emit the most fossil fuels into the atmosphere but hey <laughs> you know these guys think they're in a position to lecture people about uh, emissions, okay, for whatever reason. So before we get into this, I just want to let you guys know, if you like my videos and you like my commentary, please feel free to support uh, in the description section below. You can support the Patreon, you can support the PayPal, you can support the merch. There are multiple ways to support, including uh, <laughs> grabbing yourself one of these racist mugs, my latest passion project in which... I uh, remind you guys on an everyday basis what the definition of racist is in 2022, which is basically anybody who disagrees with the Democrat Party. So uh, if you want to cop yourself on one of these mugs, feel free to do so at the uh, merch store. So that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, former Secretary of State John Kerry was excruciated by critics Thursday for expressing hope that Russian President Vladimir Putin would help the world stay on track with fighting climate change despite the ongoing invasion of Ukraine by Russian armed forces. Kerry's comments came during an appearance Wednesday on BBC Arabic in which uh, Biden's climate envoy also lamented the potential emission consequences from the war in Ukraine and worried the attention of large countries would be diverted from fighting climate change because of the conflict. Boy, I'm going to tell you, that's really some 5D chess going on in uh, John Kerry's head, right? So this guy <laughs> allegedly uh, hopes that this war is not a distraction from a bigger issue like climate change, right? Again, I, I find that statement to just be ridiculous, right? I, I really do. And just symbolic of the Democrat parties nowadays. So let's actually watch this statement. Very concerned about, I'm concerned about Ukraine because of the people of Ukraine and because of the principles that are at risk uh, in terms of international law and trying to change boundaries of international law by force. Uh, I thought we lived in a world that had said no to that kind of activity, and I hope diplomacy will win. But have massive uh, emissions consequences to the war, but equally importantly, you're going to lose people's focus. You're going to lose certainly big country attention because they will be diverted, and, and uh, I think it could have a damaging impact. So, you know, I think hopefully President Putin would realize that in the northern part of his country, they used to live on 66% of a nation that was over frozen land. Now it's thawing. And his infrastructure is at risk. And the people of Russia are at risk. And so I hope President Putin will help us to stay on track with respect to what we need to do for the climate. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Can you believe it, guys? This dude, literally, it, while Putin's conducting this invasion, he's saying, man, Putin, I hope you're paying attention to what's happening to your country when it comes to climate change, man, right? Even though you out here trying to grab some land, trying to restore the Soviet Union, climate change, though, bruh, right? Climate change. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I, I can't believe this. I mean, it's just one of those things. Like, I know that John Kerry's a part of the climate envoy. I get it. But, man. I mean, during a time like this, I'm not necessarily sure if I I, I would have said that, right? I, I just would have kept it at, hey, you know what? Right now, our immediate thoughts are with the Ukrainian people, 
right? And just leave it at that, right? You, you save your propaganda for another day, right? You can say that for another day, okay? But obviously, this guy couldn't, and uh, he got roasted up for it. Russia launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine early Thursday uh, morning following weeks of speculation as Russian troop numbers swell at the border between the two countries and in neighboring uh, Belarus. Critics took to social media to blast Kerry for focus on climate change amid the start of a war. Kerry continues to prove he's the most clueless politician. <laughs> Mary Catherine Ham says, eye on the ball, John. <laughs> Steve Malloy says, I hope uh, President Putin will help us with respect to what we need to do to stay on track with the climate. What an idiot. How was this guy Secretary of State? Yeah, that's a good question, right? How was this guy Secretary of State? Hillary was Secretary of State as well, too, right? We definitely had some individuals with uh, questionable qualifications be in that role. Listen to our esteemed uh, ambassador to the clouds. <laughs> this freaking guy. These idiots are the problem. Total clown show. Obama made him Secretary of State, so he would have been a certified joker to begin with. But this takes the cake. This man is criminally stupid. Just an incredible statement. People are getting killed in the Biden administration's climate envoy who regularly flies to climate events in a private jet. Is con concerned first about the impact on the climate fight. Uh, feels like a cartoon character. Our country don't take us seriously because we're not a serious country. Yes. Uh... Democrats are deranged, spoiled children, and after 2022 should not be anywhere near in a position of power for the foreseeable future. Kerry is so worried about climate change, he flew his private jet to Iceland to receive an award. Ex extreme climate deterrent policies are here. The U.S. invited Russia dominance in energy. The American public will naturally sour in 100% push to clean energy as adversaries who pollute far more than us dominate ONG markets. This guy has always been wrong on this issue. Yeah, I, I agree with this guy, right? I agree because that's part of the problem, right? Part of the problem that's going on right now is that uh, we're in this fight with, with Russia uh, in regards to trying to have influence over Europe. And a part of that is energy, okay? And Europe, uh, low-key, uh, they kind of want that Nord Stream 2 pipeline because right now Europe is getting 40% of their natural gas from Russia. And if they got the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, then even more will come from Russia. And energy costs in Europe are very, very, very high, right? So a part of the reason why Russia wants that pipeline so bad is to gain uh, influence over Europe, right? And, and through selling them uh, cheap energy. And Europe wants cheap energy as well, right? And the way that Europe has got themselves in this position is because of their focus on so-called renewables, right? Focusing on uh, energy sources that are quite frankly inefficient, right? Uh, not focusing more on nuclear, okay? Things like that. And that's the reason why we're in this position. Because if we was more energy independent, then we could sanction Russia without having to worry about uh, the consequences to the oil markets and energy markets globally, right? Or the American people at the gas pump. But unfortunately, we're not in that position because we are uh, <laughs> woke on climate, okay? So, um, hey, people like John Kerry, I feel like are, are playing a role in our weakness right now in this situation. And this guy is perpetuating more weakness uh, <laughs> even during a time like this. OK, it's, it's hilarious how he says this, because, again, it's just another like example of the Biden administration showing that they're just simply an embarrassment on the world stage. I mean, look what he's done to our military. Right. Our military is focused on you know, being inclusive, right? Uh, being transgender friendly and, you know, making sure that they understand uh, white rage and stuff like that. They're, they're woke, right? Our military is woke. Or they went woke, right? So they're more focused on that and climate, <laughs> right? Than they are on our adversaries, okay? And, and being a fighting machine. And this is what happens when uh, you're in this situation. Our enemies notice that. And then you have Putin, you know, invade Ukraine and you got China flirting with invading Taiwan, right? Again, th th elections have consequences, man. I want people to understand elections have consequences. And if people haven't learned that by now, okay, I don't know what to tell you, bro. I don't know what to tell you, but let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.